What is happening guys? Archizzle here and welcome to another video. I apologize, this video is going to be like a little update type of video and show you about what's happening with me at the moment. In a moment you'll see me in class A's, my army service uniform because we're about to go to a formation for inspection. Hopefully it doesn't last that long. And then I'll show you the breakdown on what I have right here. It's basically a humongous pile of army gear, army stuff, or army uniform, not even gear packing list that we're going to be bringing back home though we shouldn't really have brought everything but yeah but uh again before we start the vlog or whatever if this video is going to be more videos coming soon once we move once we pcs i'm gonna make sure i document everything from pcsing taking care of your household goods child care daycare just our journey you know being in the plane and traveling and whatnot a lot of eating a lot of traveling outside a lot of fun stuff and you'll finally see Flor again in the videos you'll see my dog Drake because apparently the Drake has a fan club because a lot of people want to adopt Drake but I'm not gonna let Drake go away Eliana's gonna be back a lot more videos that's really fun and more informative I'll set up the studio again so we can do more informative videos more current events videos more videos about what's happening with us vlogs and whatnot and just fun stuff probably a lot of cooking and stuff too a lot a lot of a lot of great things coming really soon so without further ado, let's get on to the video. Because a lot of you guys have been asking what's on my ASU, my army service uniform, my dress blues, my class A's. Guess we'll break it down as quick as we can because we're about to go uh, do an inspection uh, for graduation here at recruiting school. So just to let you know, just a quick run through of what I have. Obviously the rank on the side, Sergeant E5. I got my nameplate over there. I got my shoots and snare from overseas from being in Germany, the German marksmanship badge. I got a silver from a possible bronze, silver and gold marksmanship badge right there. I got the US insignia over there, medical core over there. That's what uh, series I am at, 68 series medical core. I got my unit awards over there because of the unit that I'm attached right now. That is my... Uh, that's the AMED crest because I'm a medical uh, MOS soldier, 68 series. That is my current unit right now on both sides. What else do we have here? We got a driver's badge. You get a driver's badge if you don't get in trouble or basically no issues driving for a certain amount of uh, miles. Your unit is going to issue that if you have your driver's license, military driver's license, no issue whatsoever. You get that. And this is my weapons qualification badge. It's a carbine, meaning it's an M4. I believe I got a 36 out of 40, so I got that one right there, expert. And then for my awards, I got two AAMs with two bronze oak leaf cluster. So that means I have three AAMs at the moment. This one is for the Army Good Conduct Medal. No issues for the past three years that I've been in the Army. I'm coming up on another A, not AAM, another Good Conduct really soon. So that's what it looks like. Let's see. And then this one, let's start from the bottom now, I guess. This one is for uh, Army Overseas Service Ribbon, being in Germany. I got that. This one is the Army Service Ribbon. I got this after basic in AIT, including this one, which is the National Defense Service Medal. And this one, the one that looks like it's blue, it's a Global War and Terrorism Service Medal. So one, two, three, I got that during AIT and basic and yeah. That's what I got. This one is for NCOES school. It was WLC at one point. That's what it was called. And this is from being in Kuwait Global War and Terror Expeditionary Medal. So that's what we got. All right, now we are wearing the ASUs, the Army Service Uniform, about to go to inspection. I don't think I can bring my camera, but just to show you guys what I have, with all the ribbons and awards and all that. Got everything shined and everything. Hopefully you guys see it. There you go. Yeah, that's about it and i'm back literally the inspection was only like less than a minute because mine's pretty squared away already it's very informal just to see if everything's in line everything's good but yeah it's really hot just wearing this it's really crazy but i need to fix my tie i'm not really good with ties but yeah that's about it what is happening guys arch sizzle here and we are finally back we just finished the inspection that you probably saw that clip in the beginning of this video and right now we are in this dilemma again remember i made a video about the packing list going here to school and basically when you go to any other army school you'll have a packing list and what to bring and whatnot turns out you always have to bring whatever's on the list just to be safe just to be sure but most of the time 
you don't really use all of them, but you still have to bring it just in case. And that's how why you do it, just in case when shit happens. But right now, as you can see, I only have one duffel bag. I got issued more uh, more of uh, these scorpion pattern uniforms. I got the hat, obviously. I got my old set, more accessories over there, personal stuff, personal shirts, uh, civilian shirts, tan shirts, a bunch of socks because I change socks like all the time because I get really sweaty in my feet. And I got PT belt, got that trusty hair clipper, PTs, winter PTs that I never used, extra belt uniform or I mean underwear that I'm not going to be using. I got my personal stuff over there. I still have laundry to do. I got water detail even if you're an E5, even if you're an NCO, we rotate that and I'm on water detail for the last week which is I don't really care. I got a bunch of shoes. Obviously I'm just going to wear a pair and I don't know. Hmm. Will it fit in that bag? We'll find out. Obviously I got my cameras, my personal stuff, more electronic stuff, some hats, my mic, my laptop go subscribe by the way hit that gear button over there to get notified great segue huh hmm. got this this is going to be my hand carry documents over there itinerary personal stuff finance stuff this is what i'm going to be wearing for the last week or less than a week a few days i got two sets of tan shirts two sets of um you know uh, socks for the ac acus some um civilian clothes some civilian attire unity clothing go buy some and we have one more pt session it's going to be a sports day basketball that's why i'm saving this i got my underwear obviously how many days that's how many i have over there um over here you saw it earlier i just took it off i'm going to be wearing it for graduation but i don't really want to hand carry another bag i just want my backpack but going here i hand carried both the backpack and this bag right here for your suit and whatnot. Pair of ACUs that I'm just gonna be wearing throughout the whole time I'll be here. Only a few days left. I think that's laundry over there. I got my shoes. Oh, we got issued another set of ASUs. So yeah, so I don't really want to mess it up. Another pair or another top and all that. Basically gonna clean this barracks room out before we leave. Gotta throw out my trash and yeah, that's about it. So just giving you like a little breakdown of what's happening at the moment. This is another one of those vloggies that I'm just gonna be like talking to you and showing you stuff. I hope you like it. I'm really, really excited to get home. I can't even explain. I wanna film everything. I wanna see Liana run up to me. I wanna see my dog Drake E again. And of course I wanna see my wife. Um, yeah, just sharing you guys what's up. It's really weird. I wasn't really gone for that long. It's like less than two months but it felt like forever because there's really nothing much to do here besides study and we're pretty much done and i'm really excited to go back to texas you know more things coming up really soon that's the update all right i'm still debating on what to call you guys some people said i should call you guys archies archers archlets let me know in the comment section below but it's gonna stay the same more videos coming really soon and yeah before i forget again once we get settled once we move still gonna be in my old duty station for like a month and a half you know we gotta go clearing i'm gonna document as much as i can clearing the housing you know pcsing moving uh your household goods your vehicles your car and all of that it's gonna go back to kind of like the old stuff you know like instructional or how to do whatnot and i'll have my set again or my office to do stuff like that but once we actually move to the new house I'm going to bring you guys once we go um, apartment hunting or house hunting, it depends. Show you the new house. It's just really exciting. A lot of good stuff, a lot of traveling, a lot of eating outside. I'm excited. California, here we come. So that's it for today. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little vlog type where I just bring my camera around and show you things. But uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it does really help out the channel. And I really appreciate you guys supporting. Slowly but surely, the channel's growing and i hope i'm really helping you guys let me know because there's a lot of people that watch the videos that don't really comment but just say a hi you know i just want to know who's watching and whatnot but make sure you subscribe also whenever i upload a new video so you get notified that is it for today arches out
Well, again, my name is Archie. I make videos pertaining to the army, whatever information or experience that we get from the military, and sometimes I vlog about my life, sometimes army story time and non-army story time also. Have a lot of videos pertaining to my life with my family, my kid, past experiences, 